I definitely have a huge appetite. And that's no secret. The varied terrain so far from the Table Mountains to the colorful Bokap had just made me hungry for more. And even a turbulent flight could not lower my enthusiasm as I landed at the George Airport for another plateful of South Africa. Guided by Brian, we set out for the drive to Nizna along the garden route. George is the sixth oldest town in Africa, situated in the Western Cape Province, halfway between Cape Town and Port Elizabeth. Exploring nature's spectacles, I based myself as I reached the View Boutique Hotel and Spa. Situated on the front dune on Wilderness Beach, a mere 20 minutes from George Airport, View Boutique Hotel offers a panoramic beach and ocean view. So on the garden route now, this is our first stop. I'm at a beautiful place called The Views and the reason why it's called Views is what you can see behind me and we're here for breakfast and I have with me Brian and Neo. They're going to be with me throughout this trip. Uh, at least Brian is going to be with us for the next two days. And Brian, you were telling me about this whole uh, route, the garden route. It, it, it starts in a, in a town called Swellendam, which is uh, 100, uh, 150 kilometers from Cape Town. And it's actually South Africa's third oldest town. It was discovered in 1745, so it's an old town, and it starts in Swellendam, and it ends in a town called uh, Jeffreys Bay, which is 70 kilometers before Cape Town. And um, the whole the whole stretch of the garden route is mainly a summer holiday destination. So, Brian, tell me what sea is this? What is this? The Atlantic Ocean behind us? This is, this is now the Indian Ocean. It's the Indian Ocean? This is the Indian Ocean. You, you left the Atlantic in Cape Town. If you had come here, driven here by car, you would, have, you would have passed an area called Cape O'Gallis. And that's where the two oceans officially meet. Or well, that's where they say mm. they meet. And uh, I like to tease the guests and I say, driving from, if we were driving from Cape Town, we would stop, taste the water, salt water, Atlantic Ocean. From the moment we would got to um, Cape O'Gallis and we tasted the, the Indian Ocean, we would have known it was Indian Ocean if it tasted like curry. <laughs> what more could one ask for? When you start your day and your first meal is with the warm Indian Ocean waters playing at your feet. They say, eat your breakfast like a king. And that's exactly what I did before we got into our car and started our drive back onto the garden route. Our drive was very scenic. Through the rich tapestry of massive trees, freshwater lakes and saltwater rivers, many of which had steep-sided gorges cut through the mountains. So we're driving on the garden route headed to our hotel in Naisna. And this is a very, very scenic drive. In fact, this is the world's sixth most beautiful scenic drive. And it's also a very interesting drive. I'll tell you why. Because we just passed Swartz Lake. Now, this is South Africa's biggest and largest saltwater lake. Right after that, we passed a town where I want to settle because that is the only town in all of the African continent that's been officially labelled as a slow town. You know, a tortoise is actually the symbol of that town. It's a grandpa, grandma town with a population of only 5,000 people. Everything here is slow. So when you're passing that town, you speak slowly as well. I'm joking, but there is a town and it's called Sedgefield. After a surreal drive, we reached the Turbine Hotel as I got my much needed rest to prepare myself for yet another exploration at Naizna. A once trusted wood-fired turbine power station now transformed into luxurious quarters. The Turbine Hall has been restored to its rightful landmark status on Naizna's exclusive Thiessen Island. Chrome finished dials and retro pressure gorges complete this unique five-star space, affirming its authentic character. The 24 individually styled rooms and suites surround the central hall, where beautifully preserved machinery tells tales of a hard-working past. Muted design is the key at the Turbine Boutique Hotel and Spa. It's an amazing building to have the privilege to be able to run because really we are part of a little bit of history in town 
It's a completely unique little hotel. Um, I'm sure that you've seen uh, by just what you've, what you've witnessed walking around, it's not your typical hotel when you walk in. You walk in into a little bit of history. It has been completely uh, revamped from the old power station that it was. Um, and it's something that so many people haven't seen. And the previous generation, this was part of their work. So being able to, to relive that era that they actually worked in with mechanical machines, which have all been preserved and brought back to life again, um, it makes it actually quite a special place for people to come and visit and puts a different angle on staying in a type of hotel which has a very different theme to it. Population of Meisner, 70,000 people. Ah, that's a lot. It's a, it's a, it's a big, it's a, a small town with a lot of people. A lot of people, yeah. Um, the common language spoken here is a, is, a, is a language called Afrikaans. 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 It's, it's, uh, we, in South Africa we have 11 official languages and Afrikaans is one of them. And for me to teach you how to say, say thank you to somebody in Afrikaans is pretty easy. Okay, that's good. I want to know. Um, somebody gives you something and you want to say thank you to them, you say buy a donkey. You say buy a donkey? If you can't remember buy a donkey, remember buy a donkey and say it fast, you'll get the buy a donkey. Buy a donkey, actually means Brilliant. thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> and, they, and they in return would more than likely say plaisir to you, meaning a pleasure. Pleasure, okay, fair enough. Yeah, That's yeah. close to English, plaisir. Plaisir. And then the, buy a the, donkey, plaisir. The letter, the letter G in Afrikaans doesn't exist. No way, that can't be true. So if you, if you want to say good morning to somebody in Afrikaans, it's goeie mora. It's almost as if you're clearing your throat. Right. So there is no G. There's no G in Afrikaans. So your name would sound quite funny in Afrikaans. I can't believe this. There is no G in Afrikaans. There is no place for me. Can you imagine <laughs> if I had to do this show from, from here in Nice Night, say, welcome back to Weekend Out. My name's Gharav. <laughs> I don't like that sound. No. no it's so no good. Afrikaans for me. No. no. Yeah, the, be the best I can do is say, buy a donkey. Very good. All right. Very, very good. You've got it. You've got it. <laughs> what a beautiful town. I love it completely. It's situated on the banks of a magnificent lagoon, which stretches out to the Indian Ocean at a dramatic point between the towering twin peaks known as the Heads. The name Naizna is a Khoisan word named by the first people to have settled and enjoyed the pleasures of this area, but it's uncertain as to its exact meaning. Naizna has twice been voted as South Africa's favourite town and is a true holiday paradise. And I realised this while I was taking a walk with Brian on Long Street in Harbour Town. Now Naizna is not just a beautiful town, it's also known as the oyster capital of South Africa. And oysters are what we're going to try right after the break. <laughs> 